Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Trip Around the Multiverse with your hosts C.Y. Chung and Kyle Charles. And today we'll be um, talking about the death and return of Superman like, and its adaptations. Uh, mainly we'll be going through the comic version, but at some point we'll be talking about the others. So yeah. at the forefront, um, the 1992 event. Was it 1992 or was it 90? It was 90, I think the concept, the writers put the concept in 1991, they were starting towards it. But yeah, yeah it's actually executed in 1992. Um, the yeah, storyline, story like, and, yeah. and Superman as well at the same time. <laughs> he was executed in 1992. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but yeah. Um, so, so this as the graphic novel collections, Death of Superman is part one essentially. Funeral for a friend. Yeah, never. Really uh, or that. the World Without Superman, yeah. which is part two, and Return of Superman, which is part three. Yes, the dense. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so here's the thing. When I was reading through this, right? Yeah. There's a lot of moving pieces. I mean, the story, the death of Superman, is pretty straightforward. Yes, quick. <laughs> but when you look at it, when you look through it, Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor Jr. Uh, okay, I want to ask yeah, you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll yeah. ask you a question. If you know the answers, then, then uh, you know, I'll, I'll back you up or correct yeah. you. Okay, Lex Luthor, yeah. red-headed, uh, red-bearded Lex Luthor Jr. Do you know the backstory on him? Yeah, slightly. I think, yeah. if I remember correctly, Lex Luthor, quote unquote, died. You can't see me doing the finger quotes. Died. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, he... do you know why, though? No. Okay. There's a Kryptonite ring. Oh, yeah. Cause... Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, Kryptonite yeah. ring. He was so... wearing it on his hand and it eventually gave him so, cancer. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then um, he pretended to be his red-headed son who's Scottish. Oh, no, Australian. I was Australian. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. Sc- I don't know why I read it Scottish. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Australian. Yeah, it's something um, that makes but, no yeah, it's sense. Illegitimate bastard son, but in actual fact, he yeah. brain transplanted himself to younger body. Exactly. All right. Do you know the the back? Cause we have to actually talk about the characters because then when we get to the actual thing, they they're relevant. Because yeah. when you flick through a novel, you're like, hold on, I thought Lex Luthor's got like bald head. Yeah, and, no, because I remember and, that. Because I was like, oh yeah, I forgot this was a thing. Okay, do you know about the uh, the backstory for the, the Supergirl in this? Ain't she some alien f- Matrix thing that took form of Kara Zarel? Yeah, but but you know the background behind that? No. Okay, so no. so in uh, the the Legion, okay, there's a lot. Oh, of got something to Legion superheroes. Yeah. God. Okay. <laughs> so when they wa- when they did the reset on Crisis on Infinite Earth, yeah, they where there's have... one Kryptonian. Yeah. But then they had the stories of Superboy inspiring the Legion. So then they had to write that into continuity by saying, "Oh, it wasn't the Legion never went back in time to the mod, uh, the mainline DC universe. They went to a pocket universe created by the Time Trap because the Time Trapper realized this doesn't. If Superman is never Superboy, then Legion of Superman yeah, exists. Yeah. So he made it happen. So retcon, but okay, Ooh. fair enough, fair enough. Whoa. But in that in that Superboy's universe, yeah, <laughs> somehow he died, or I don't Some know. I, I mean, they did just say." He disappeared, right? Yeah. Um, and then the Lex Luthor unleashed General Zod, Feyora, and Qual El from the Phantom Zone. Okay. And uh, I think he had tried to make the Matrix Supergirl as a counterpoint to them, but she couldn't handle them. So okay. she went to the main DC Universe, the, yeah. the post-crisis DC Universe, to get Superman to take help take them down. And because he was invulnerable to the kryptonite of that universe, yeah. he basically trapped them uh the 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 rogue kryptonians yeah and let them die with the, <laughs> the, the yeah with the kryptonite essentially oh night is but then are stupid but then he had to exile himself because he, he murdered quote unquote um so when he went back to the main universe he went into space and then that's the uh superman exile storyline we encountered mongol which relates to, to the return uh, okay, superman yeah 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 that, that. Okay, so it's long winded to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so when he goes into space, he count the um, encounters War World. Or, yeah, you know, and then he has a gladiatorial bout with Mongol, which he uses the tornado to. What is it a blitz? Some sort of t- either he does a tornado thing. Hmm. Uh, I think it's a tornado blitz uh, punching thing, and then both of them fall down. Okay. Afterwards, because he's exhausted, and Mongol's finally knocked out. So then Mongol's beef with Superman. Yeah. Is there. Okay, That's, so uh, yeah. Now <laughs> okay. with that out of the way, the actual storyline oh with Death of Superman. What did you think of this when you reread it? Um, when I reread it, 
I forgot how how like smoothly it reads. It's just yeah. like there's no it's like little fillers like you know the little the whole weird beginning bit with a kid steals the spray paint to yeah. tell Superman that there's people down here, but he tells Lois Lane that so she goes there and she finds remnants of War World and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that bit was like... Oh, no, no, no. War. That's not War World. That's the Underworlders. Oh, same rubbish. Well, no, no, yeah. because they're not connected to Mongol. <laughs> I, I, I thought I read somewhere saying War World. I, I thought you oh, yeah. made that up. Yeah. But yeah, so that was all like, why is all this happening? Yeah. Then after that, it's smooth read, you know, the bits when he goes... The little bits and build up the emotional bit like when he's on a TV show trying yeah. to inspire kids and little kids like oh I don't like Superman anyway I like God God no. he's, yeah. he's cool and then Superman saves his family and he's like you know what Superman's great but Superman's he's dead Superman's the man yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no yeah as, as for an event they basically kind of created on not on the spot but they were like Lois and Clark 994 Superman they're going to go to a wedding so yeah. what, our DC comics wedding we're going to have to postpone till that point yeah. so let's find something as a filler gap between and yeah you know let's just kill Superman and uh, revive him in time for his wedding for the series so we can co- coincide everything but it's actually got a pretty good pacing the yeah Superman. It's really I mean, good pacing it's, um, they just yeah basic storyline is find Doomsday for several issues essentially there's lots of like Read it back now. Like, there's lots of like inaccuracies, like art wise. Okay. Because like one issue, he'll be like battle damaged. Yeah. Both him and um, Doomsday. Doomsday. The next issue, his costume's back to normal. Well, obviously, because yeah. different artists and yeah. whatever, whatever. But it's just like. Uh, well, they, to be fair, they had to come out like they were it, at, Adventures of Superman, Action Comics, Man of Steel, and Superman. So yeah. it's like once a week, once week, week or something. Yeah. You can't at your, how. You, no one's going to have time to check someone else's art. Yeah, especially back then, production, it's yeah. not as easy as it is now, sort of thing. Um, what I did find, what I was reading it was, <laughs> when you're reading it as a kid, you're like, okay, you, you buy these certain things, right? Yeah. But when when he's finding the JLA, which is consisting of uh, Maxima, Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, Fire, Ice, Guy Gardner, Bloodwind, who is Marshman Hunter. Oh, that's who it is. Yeah, you okay, think yeah. No, oh. cause I knew it back in the day, but yeah. then when I reread it, I was like, I'm confused. And then Blue Beetle went. There's a backstory behind that, but I can't. I can't. Very convoluted. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he's pretty, yeah. When Black um, Black Beetle, Blue Beetle goes, oh, he's a fire hurts him. That means he must be. And then Doomsday and then grabs him and throws him into. Right. Like, no, no. Space. Well, we get to that in a minute. Yeah. No, I just want to say, this is not the Big Seven Justice League. This is like the the. I don't want to say the lower tier jobber version of the Justice League it just happened to be the group and Doomsday can mow through these people without yeah it's res- uh, it was reserves especially. yeah you could you could allow him to defeat all of these people and be like alright he beat the Justice League but technically he didn't beat the yeah. big seven of the Justice League which would be Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman uh, Green Lantern Flash yeah. Aquaman Marshman Hunter or Cyborg depending on which one yeah. you, want to, you want to put in there <laughs> Um, Even though he could, but yeah, that's back then. Not too well, big yeah, yeah. But the, the, the amount of people that he took down here, yeah, you're like, okay, it's it's a feat beating the Justice League, but not the yeah ginormous feat it's of when you say it, it and people assume that it's the the, yeah. the main line group. Now, here's the thing, right? It's Doomsday just like you said about Blue Beetle, he just pummels Blue Beetle, and I'm like, right, 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 but. You shouldn't be able, to, Blue Beetle. You shouldn't be able to take one punch from Blue Beetle. You should be is, dead from the first punch. Even is, your head should have just come off your body. This is comics where people somehow have superhuman abilities for no yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it's when it's convenient story. Uh, yeah. And same with uh, Booster Gold as well. When um, when Booster Gold's uh, reserves run out for yeah. his, uh, his force field and all that blasts, he just gets pummeled as well. Now I was lo- looking at it thinking, right. These, these people should be dead. Logically speaking, yeah. when you, when you, with the, the group you've got, you need to do that. Fair enough. If, say, Blue Beetle's not useful in this fight, and he's like, okay, fine, I'll help the civilians, I'll keep everyone yeah. out of the surroundings, whatever, yeah? I don't need to engage because I can't, right? And then you have Booster Gold taking that first beating, but the force field takes yeah. on the impact. But then he's like, yeah, he can he can survive with the force field enough. And then you have... Martian Manhunter slash Bloodwind take the second beating just to put Doomsday over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, he can survive it. Yeah. The, the way that these guys take it, Doomsday slammed a car door on one of their heads, right? Yeah. I'm like, that right. made no sense. Yeah, he, their head's coming off. Yeah. But again, like, so this is that weird. Even it's like in like, film logic as well. Yeah. When it's shooting, something it chooses to, someone can get hit by like a car and it survives. But when it's convenient to story, yeah. hit by a car, you're dead. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
But um, I have to say, um, Maxima filled her. I want to say the Wonder Woman role quite well here, where she was the the, the female force that that could actually was capable of fighting yeah, yeah. Doomsday to a certain degree. Um, she was actually a good replacement for Wonder Woman in this in this uh, Death of Superman story. Just didn't like her. I don't know. No, no, she's not a great character. Know. But I'm just saying, as as I in, forgot who she was. I was saying like, who but is but this if that you know. In this story, she yeah, no, sorry, she, she, and you're like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I can see, I can, I can accept that. For example, you know, yeah, but the Matrix Supergirl got proper jobbed out. <laughs> One punch to the face, gone, yeah. done. Like what? What? I didn't see the point of that. Or yeah, her being there in the whole. Yeah, it made like not build her up, but like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna go and help. I'm not gonna say cousin because he ain't related to her, but no. yeah, I'm gonna go and help Superman, and then literally just punch, and that's it. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. t- tell you what, something I read in that I'm not sure if you re- you noticed it when you read it first time or when you reread it, mm. but when it goes to um, um, Adventures of Superman four nine seven, mm. went in in the collection. It starts with four panels, and then the next one, which would be Action Comics six eight four, yeah, three panels. Then Man of Steel nineteen has got two panels. And Superman seventy five is one panel, so it's like a countdown. Yeah, uh, I read about it and I was like, oh, let me have it. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. There was this um, one scene in Superman uh, seventy five mm. where they're doing where it's like above point of view with the Lex Corp flying jet people and Superman smashes through the building at the bottom, like the pillars. But yeah. you just see a streak, and I'm like, why is this? Why is this? Why is it from this view? Because everything else in that comic is in your face. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, all right, because they're trying to do trade the destruction in one panel. At one in one page, but it's a bit awkward when you just see a streak across the bottom. However, what was clever was when um, Jimmy Olsen was taking a picture, yeah, of like Superman and Doomsday went to do it, do Super, Superman sure you can, <laughs> and uh, and things did, and uh, Superman did the double axe handle, and he, they punched through the gap, you know, <clears throat> yeah, and then when they both were flopping over, they did a very clever shot of the reflection of the camera. So you could get the reaction of Lois and Jimmy, yeah, without using two panels because there's your one panel countdown. I was like, oh, that's actually quite smart. Well done. Mm, yeah, I didn't even realize stuff like that. I didn't even realize yeah. until but, like, but point out. Let, let, let's just let's just put it this way: it's all action. It's all yeah. It's, there's no, no, little, when we so. need to really care about storyline. No background to Doomsday. He's just there to go and beat yeah. up Superman. He's just there to fulfill a certain point, a role in the. Uh, oh, did you like the wrestling reference? Yeah, sorry, no trouble. Like, like, oh, so. Yeah, Okay, in ca- if, if, so if you people don't know, the reason that Doomsday goes to Metropolis, he's jumping about, he's destroying whatever, jumps and uh, he's fighting some people, I can't remember, I think it's just, at some point he's finding just illegal Superman. No, I think he's fighting Superman and those um, Let's Court dudes. Yeah, and yeah. then there's an advert about wrestling. Yeah, in Metropolis. Yeah, yeah, it's like, come see it, like what well, Hogan look alike, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like... <laughs> and then, Fight the, st- the strongest people fight, blah, 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 softly so here. What you gonna do, brother? He hears, oh, strongest people fight. Metropolis, right. Metropolis. Uh, somehow he knows where Metropolis yeah, is. Yeah, that's another thing I was like. Yeah, okay. okay. Does he even know English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's been no English, but okay, cool, makes sense. All right, and uh, yeah, um, I didn't actually think it was badly executed. No. It, 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 it was, not, it was what it was, but it's a straightforward sli- storyline. It knew where it was going. Didn't have any twists and turns. It just like, yeah. this there's is, little things in it that are like, Oh, I wonder how, like, background things like Superman's um, beef with Guy Gardner. I was like, oh, I wonder why they have beef. What happened to lead yeah, to yeah. that? Just weird little things like that, which I couldn't actually go back and find out. Oh, yeah, well, it's, the, it's, it's the problem, isn't it? It's like, well, as we were saying, there's loads of things that were crisscrossing through the storyline. Yeah. But as a vac- in a vacuum, you're like, what? What's this? Yeah. What's this? What's this bit? What's this? Why bit? this? Yeah. Yeah. Which is what they streamline for the adaptations. Which yeah. Will which makes more sense. Yeah. Really yeah. Like, okay, well, that all makes the sense. main universe retcons and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Readjusted um, post-crisis stuff. Yeah. You know. So did you, uh, funeral for okay the next part funeral for friends a world about Superman uh, any anything you significantly you remember about this? Um, I don't remember because I didn't read really recently. I've read it years years yeah. years ago. So the main things two points that I remember from this. Hmm. Lex Luthor beats up a female karate instructor because she she either, I can't remember exactly but she beat him up or something like that. With the, you know, practice. Yeah. Practice bouts. He was he was having his martial arts but, uh, 
whatever, right? Yeah. One knows that he ambushed her in the, in the female locker room, and then next week, uh, like, and then next week, you know, she's like, he's got his throat, a hand around her throat or something like that. Oh, wow, well, that's yeah. stuff you can't do nowadays. Yeah, 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 something like that. But basically, you know, he's just be very, it's just to show he's really pretty yeah, yeah. and anything. I'm not sure if he, I don't know if it's like, oh, he's sexist because a woman beat him up, right? Because but there's some things because... in the next one, um, Return of Superman, he does, I'm like, that's kind of sexist. Oh, we'll get to that in yeah. a minute. Right? But the other thing I remember is uh, Jonathan Kent, I believe he has a heart attack or something. Yeah. He goes to, I don't know if it's like the never, whatever they want to see, uh, the, the, the entrance to heaven or whatever. But he helps, he entices Clark back to, to Earth, come back yeah. to Earth. Um, and then at the end of it, Superman's grave's open and... It's not much to say about funeral for things. Yeah. It's, not, it's like a stopgap in between the ret- the main action se- sequences. Um, so that's the only two things I remember. It'd be, you know, you know, I just remember, I don't know if it's from actually this or something else, where yeah. they're at the funeral, but Batman's not there. He's on a rooftop watching or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably that. Probably that. Um, that's about it. That's yeah. what I remember. It's not, it's not much to it. No. It's not much to it. That's why I didn't want to yeah. read it. Again. Okay, The Return of Superman. Uh, that, that, big, <laughs> that big thick uh, uh, chunk oh, of a God. thing jig. so um, any any particular takeaways you got here um, it, it's we'll try to run it in order so if you've got like stuff you're saying and then I'll interject um, but we don't want to skip to the end and then yeah, get no, to the front no, no. Like, try, like, try, try, try to remember things in <laughs> I like conversing chronological order in like, I like the first sort of bit of it is all introducing the different supermen mm-hmm. like introduce still <laughs> even though that first bit when he, appear, when he appears the thing is like you can't write that nowadays that's a bit mm. <laughs> well what was what was it cream what was this? I swear someone said bust a cap and something's really weird I'm like yeah this is so okay. 90s you can't yeah. do this but right, right. then he just appears out of rubble which he's been hiding but he's been stuck under since the Superman Doomsday thing. I was like, but isn't that like six months ago at this point? No, no, no. In comic, in comic, you don't know what the timeline is exactly. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. And Superboy bit was pretty cool. I, t- I totally forgot about the Newsboy Yeah, yeah. Gang Superboy one. is radical. Yeah. Like, ugh, this is so nice. Like, um, Eradicators. When he appears as well, we just kill people straight away. Like, what is this about? Yeah. I can't remember. Did they show... No, they do show um, Cyborg Superman at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Um, dead giveaway. What? Yeah, John Henry Irons now. I was like, do you know when Superman rescued him? With, okay, so he's a steel worker and he's working on the high rise yeah. when he's Superman. He drops and then Superman saves him. He saves he someone. He saves someone, yeah. And then Superman he saves drops. him. And then I'm like, right, so what was his first. Appear- Did this actually happen? Before in a comic, or are they just and they're like, are we working towards this all this time? Or they're that's just, what I think is like. Is but this... I think it looks like it seems like they just wrote it in there I think so. for that particular issue. Yeah. Never happened before. They weren't, you know, you're like, okay, this happened two days ago or something. Yeah, like, just yeah, this never happened, and we're just gonna pretend it did happen. Yeah, and then we're gonna write a flashback as though it happened. Right, fair, enough. fair enough, fair enough. I was like, okay, I guess. Cool, um, I, yeah, mm-hmm. I did. Um, I did like how they did Superboy using the tactile telekinesis. Like they'll write the reasons for certain power sets that super, like when he so he rescues the helicopter, the plane, or whatever it is, and it doesn't prompt one to this superpower way. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, and they're like, okay, so maybe there's a grab. To, when we're making Superboy, we can mimic some of the powers with a yeah, uh, with something else. tactile telekinesis yeah. that's close enough to what he can do. So when he flies or when he's invincible. But then there's the when he's going through a training sequence stuff like that and the explosion happens and yeah, he doesn't realise like, it's gonna happen. It kind of it burned it burned his jacket yeah, and like, he's like I thought in the full bubble I thought it was invincible. Yeah, but, I was like, ooh yeah. But you know, it's like if he doesn't realise then hey, yeah, it just adds a bit more to the power set of the character. Like, so I'll tell you diverse. forgot about the whole because I always know he has a tele, the technical telekinesis, yeah. but I have for some reason thought they adapt that into his character later. Yeah. Like a weird retcon. But yeah, yeah I remember, oh yeah, this is where they established that. Uh, okay, sort of. so, and also, Superboy here, at this point, um, is, use, is being created using the DNA of Superman and uh, Paul Weisville, the directive, uh, creative director of Cadmus. Yeah. Point. This is before they then retconned it about, uh, in they retconned it twice. They it twice? twice, yeah. Okay, so give me, the that? other one is where he's half Superman and, you know, um, in the death of Superman, Guardian's talking to some monster-looking thing. Yeah, yeah. Telepathically. They s- say that his DNA is part of them, so he's only half Superman, half that. Yeah. 
And then that's in 2006. No, 2004 when they do the whole... Lex, the son of Lex, Lex Luthor. Yeah. Which thing. then they uh, carried on through it. Forever now, hopefully. Yeah, no, well, for the rest of the adaptation, because it's actually just smoother to... Makes more sense. It, yeah. uh, though, I don't... I mean, at this point, he's a kid, so I was going to say, he just looks like a young Superman, not really like a young... But then he's got hair, so yeah, that's probably what that's the, probably... Thing, the only reason you say it, because otherwise... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he went bald, you'd be like, okay, I suppose he does look like a young man. <laughs> and um, he's even creepy in this as well. <laughs> Little he's super boy, boy. Yeah, he says yeah. something like, oh, wow, that's weird. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like just basically flirting with Everyone. every single woman that they're... Like, every, like, I don't even know how old some of these people yeah. are, but uh, Lois has got to be like mid-30s or something yeah. at this point. In the, um, and he's like still coming on to her. Yeah. He can't, he's like, hormones, boy. He's just anything that and moves. There's, <laughs> there's one bit as well when he... Saves a girl getting mugged in the park. Yeah. And he kisses her. I'm like, all right. Um, I get what you're trying to do, but, you know. That yeah. was now I mean, Superman don't, Superman don't behave like this. Exactly. And, and Lex Luthor don't behave like this. So yeah. Unless you're just saying he's a stereotypical teenage kid. But then again, where does he get his mentality from? Yeah. How did they, whatever they did in the chambers to, to give to him a reason. Him... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I've got notes towards the end of this, yeah. the, the storyline, but do you, do you want to fill in any, any points? Um, what else I remember? I like the whole Lois being conflicted with, is this one Superman or is this Superman? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they did set up, I want to say, oh, they did set up, the, the only one that blatantly wasn't Superman was yeah. Steel, because he did yeah, not, he not like, him. like him. But they're like, oh, he has the soul of Superman. Yeah. Because that bit was like, oh, okay. oh, I, yeah. he seemed to be the closest to the actual... Morals wise, yeah, man, yeah. exactly. Uh, and uh, caring for civilians, and yeah, yeah. Super is like all I don't say all pompous, but yes, but he's another one's kind of obvious, it's not him, like, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. And uh, Eradicate is like, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like <laughs> you're a villain, like... boom, uh, yeah. headshot, boom, headshot, you know, yeah, no, I'm no, you're a thief, well, I'll break your arm instead, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, great, great, like, oh, great, wow, great, that's great, that's great awesome. stuff. Um, the thing is, obviously. With his uh, yellow sunglasses and his um, power blast from his hands, you know. Yeah, and I don't on. think he used any other powers other than you know standard uh, flight and vulnerability and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But no actual like heat vision. Heat vision. Maybe Cyber speed. Uh, but, and, uh, I want to say Cyborg Superman was a. Nowadays, it seems like you know when you try to get ahead of the story. Yeah. And you're like, all right, this is a blatant red herring. It's yeah, so blatant. It's so, it's too... It must not be him. Yeah. But it, this, right? if you think of it like that, it's like yeah, okay. He he's 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 shady and it is he is exactly where he is. Yeah. Though they write in a way that it's not too obvious, but really if you just think about the the parts that Superman took damage on. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, where did he well, how come Cyborg Superman's got like half a head and half a body and, yeah. and uh, half a leg and stuff like that? It's like he did it's not as if Doomsday broke his leg and tore it off, you know? Yeah. The other thing I thought hilarious, even even with Cyborg like when I read the comments now, like you know half his faces broke. Oh uh, Cyborg like, Cyborg from T Titans. Yeah, stuff, you know that like, yeah. both of their faces are like Yeah. Half the robot is like, then why does one half have hair? And why don't you just be bald? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, um, back to the story. Um, yeah. It really. It's trying to think other little things. They did said, actually, there's a decent amount of bouts in here yeah, right, yeah. that they use to. At the same time, progress story, but the key characters that they want to put across as though we're going to put our backing behind us and these guys are are going to spawn off there and yeah. stuff, or, you know, something like that. They 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 do. So, like, the first part of the account they have in this is, uh, like, Guy Gardner versus the Eradicator, right? Yeah. And, uh, like you say, Eradicator's just, like, breaking bones and yeah, kicking the crap out of them, blasting people. Guy Gardner's I love this stuff. Guy Gardner being his uh, brash uh, yellow ring red neck uh, space. Yeah, uh, so when they of, treat him like a douche. Yeah. yeah. But but I, you know they have their bow and it kind of come, is the draw, so no one looks bad. Yeah. Uh, but I'm like right, but Guy Gardner, you, you went to fight Doomsday with the rest of Justice League um, instead of Superman, and for some reason you just tried to try to fist fight him instead of blasting him with the ring. You kind of deserve to get uh, beat yeah. up the way you did. Um, but they written here's the thing: they write these things like that so they can get rid of them as part of the story. So yeah. it's like oh, they're not they're not 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 too key. But it's just like, okay, well, if he doesn't stand there and blast from space or where's yeah. the distance, then no one's going to get to him. But like, we're going to have to do something. Yeah, and it's not interesting to read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, his, his battle with the Eradicate is like, I can see why these guys would be friends. Yeah, because... You know? Well, that's how you guy got him, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, then there's a later one, Eradicate versus Steel, and I'm like, first of all, how's Steel gonna handle this fight, right? But luckily for him, lucky for Steel, uh, Eradicate has got that uh, the visor, which because his eyes are sensitive to the sun, or yeah, light, or light or something, like that. And, and, and Steel just manages to punch him in the face a couple of times and breaks them, and then, yeah. and then uh, Eradicate squirrels away. I'm like, yeah. Okay. As, yeah, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> no, it, okay. in the sense that it, it, there's no other way for him to yeah. beat them. Uh, they had to kind of write him a weakness for, for Steel to overcome this. Yeah. But then you know at this point they're like, okay, so DC are back in Steel to yeah. a certain degree. As in, you know, the newest, biggest uh, black superhero that we're going to have on our block uh, yeah. who has the symbol of Superman. Um, but you can see why the way, the way they're writing Steel is like, yeah, they yeah. are trying to do something with him. Yeah. Um, then you got uh, Eradicator versus uh, Cyborg Superman. <clears throat> did you? What did you think of that? <laughs> this is where he got War World coming in. Yeah, it's this is when it starts going nuts. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So many things are going on. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, well, no, it's, it's got it's a pace. Yeah, like, it goes quick. Like as thick as it is, the actual collected graphic novel, there there's quite a quick pace to it. Yeah, it's um, just, that's when it starts going from like a sort of self not self contained but like. A metropolis, let's say metropolis based for it to yeah. a worldwide sort yeah, of, yeah, oh yeah, wow. Yeah. I mean the latter half of the the uh, graphic novel, yeah, it's just like jam-packed with insanity to yeah. a degree. It's like, it's no, 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 it's not insanity. Not it's like, insanity, but it's like... Like, yeah, it's just like, wow, it's just all fight, all fight all the way to the yeah, end yeah. now from this point. Um, I did like how, yeah, so <laughs> the first account they have... Uh, Cyborg Super is like, you villainous scum, what are you doing to it? Like, I'm blaming Eradicate right away. Yeah, yeah. And Eradicate is like, out of the way, fool. I'm going to have a look and see what's going on. And he goes, now you've turned your back to me. Blast! Yeah, that's, Blast. When, you, uh, that's yeah. when you sort of realise, oh yeah, he's the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he makes it blatant. No, that he didn't already look yeah, like Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's just like, oh, this is actually a sly cunning move that a villain would do. Yeah, exactly. The long game. Like, oh, okay. That's good. Um, Cyborg Superman with his fight for, with uh, Superboy. And of course, Superboy is not going to be happy. Yeah, he's, he's... Especially with the technology, like uh, how Cyborg Superman can use technology and stuff like yeah. to boost his powers and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, I accept as well with that Superboy's power set not being to that physical level. Yeah. You shouldn't be able shouldn't to. shouldn't be able to. Yeah. Um, but he didn't go down like a punk. No. He put, he put, he put the, a fire. Yeah, exactly. Which is what you would do if you're trying to make a man have his own comic, a uh, character yeah. have his own comic. But I did like, also, uh, why I say light is conveniently they removed the Justice League yeah right? so Cyborg Superman sets up a fake uh, TV communication thing with the Justice League and say oh we've me and Superboy we, we beat them up fine. they scurried off yeah. uh, they've gone to space uh, if you guys launch us whatever you can uh, launch a spaceship and with your group you can catch up and we can take them down well, I will clean up around here so that um... but that should be a red flag there <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> but, but, but I was like my head, I was like so why these guys didn't get involved before? But I guess that doesn't matter because now he's like, all right, we deceived them to get yeah. rid of them. And I, yeah, okay, you kind of you kind of do have to write something like that if you're gonna make a key Superman story. People have to be got rid of conveniently, yeah. and uh, it's not as if it was a, a shoddy deception at that. He used all the everything he had electronic wise to fake yeah. the, the all the, everything they needed, all yeah, the evidence. So it's like, like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, buy it, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just so. Just so obviously, it's all a su- it's all Superman all the way for the rest of this. Yeah, all Superman until, related characters. Yeah. Well, and Green Lantern. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Until yeah. him, he comes back. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so then uh, I think at this point, actual Superman comes back, right? Yeah. It non-powered. Non-powered. In long that, hair. In this uh, Hulkbuster looking suit. Yeah. Uh, which then. He's- yeah. Stubble beard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at this point, Superboy, Pri- uh, Super Bo- Superboy Prime, Superboy has gotten away from the Cyborg Superman's war world, and he's trying to form uh, what whoever's left. Oh, yeah. You know, is this all shady? At Cadmus, probably. I think it is. And yeah. uh, Steel was there because the Hulkbuster suit <laughs> is going across to Metropolis. Yeah. And they're like, "All right, Steel, I'm here. I- I'm seeing this thing. I'm gonna have to." With Superboy take this thing down. Unfortunately, obviously, Superman's in it, yeah. and now they've just erased something that they could have used in a fight. And I, I, but when they say, "Okay, let's go over there to take out War World," yeah, Lex Luthor basically says, "Supergirl, oh please, don't go, don't go." Yeah, and she's oh, like, mm-hmm. "All right, I, I won't go. I won't go." I'm like, oh, "Come on." I don't know what, how, like, 
What's their relationship as well? I'm so confused by that. Okay, well. so I do believe, yes. Um, yes, <laughs> it's a tricky I mean, one. It, I just think it's like... It's, Obviously, she's manipulating or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's not, not his cohort or whatever, but it's just... Um, I don't want to say underling either, but it's just that the, her creator looked like him. Oh, so okay. she feels like she can trust him. Okay, yeah, that makes sense yeah. then. But thought... she's residing in LexCorp Tower, so... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silly woman. Yeah, um, so... To go for the final Assault on War World. Yeah. Which Invisible Supergirl, because the Matrix Supergirl has invisible powers, she helps them along the way with certain things. Uh, and then, yeah, so they... They have the fight yeah. uh, to get into World War, and then they conveniently remove Superboy from the equation because okay. he has to save a rocket from blowing up. Yeah, with his tactical telekinesis. Yeah. yeah. So the next fight that happens, Mongol versus Superman. I mean, look, Steel's there as well, and I'm like, why yeah. doesn't Steel just fight this guy? Like, Superman can't. No way can that physically handle him in this condition. Yeah? Yeah, but they're yeah. like, okay, I guess Steel's the engineer, and he can shut down, help shut down World World. I know, sure, if Earth technology and alien technology the are the same, same but, but whatever, right? Yeah, okay, if you're gonna you if you're gonna write the storyline that he has to go that way because you want Superman, like, it's like okay, Superman can't fight him, but you you're trying to elevate Steel to be someone relevant yeah. in the Superman lore, and he's the most superpowered person, like the, the guy with the biggest power at this point. Like, yeah. But logically, wouldn't he fight Mongol and the Superman and Supergirl go and fight, uh, try to work out the... Unless the, even Superman's sort of weakened state, I'll say weakened state, well, he's still stronger than Steel, which is probably correct. I don't know, because Mongol took him, uh, Superman down with one punch, or one or two punches or something. But, the fact that he survived one punch though from Mongol is like yeah, something though. Yeah, because <laughs> like, yeah, like Steel... Yeah, so like one well, Steel Mongol's... took punches from the Eradicator. Yeah, no, that's another weird... Oh, okay, but even you know, like the, I think the, the the way they did it was like, okay, fine, I I accept this. He's an engineer going to shut down whatever yeah, whatever yeah. technology. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. Um, so so Superman getting battered um, until Green Lantern joins him. But at this point, Steel's fighting Cy- Cyborg Superman's machine orientated stuff, not yeah. actual physical Cyborg Superman itself. Um, then he has a victory of some sort. Yeah. Then Mongol, then then Green Lantern, how Jordan Green Lantern flies along like Coast City destroyed. I used to live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? I did live here. Exactly. I used to live here. It's like, oh, now. Um, and he smashes. Uh, yeah, I, I did like how they had their fight, and the Mongols all yellow. Yeah. And this is when they still had the yellow weakness, and how Jordan is trying to fight him, but he can't in- directly fight him as much as he wants to just destroy the guy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in event, in the end, he picks up Steel's hammer, bam, to Mongol's face, and I was like. Huh. He does the old um, New Japan style uh, delayed cell. Yeah. <laughs> he takes the hammer to the face, flies off, goes, uh, what's he cry out? Green Lantern or something like yeah, that, um, right? I'll kill you or whatever. And then he flops over. I'm like, yeah, that's a New Japan like, delayed cell right there. <laughs> well done. But I like... But I, it was quite creative in the way that how Jordan was taken beating because he couldn't... He, he just... He was trying to use the materials around him to create yeah. stuff so he could... Cause, Fight um, or, yeah. or constrain him anyway. Yeah, because like Mongo could bypass the yellow, so it's like he just waded right through some stuff and just kicked him in the face. Um, and the fact that Hell Jordan survived those, yeah. I mean, you, you bring that to force field. I know it's meant to, you're meant to survive mortal injuries from that, but it's just like, whoa, well, yeah. He broke his arm and yeah. stuff. Like, oh, you'll never break my will. Yeah. Pick up the hammer and smash. Cheese. Right. But, All right. <laughs> yeah, like, a bit cheese, but. <laughs> I'll talk about what I liked about that part. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because no, 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 when we wrap up the end, because okay. know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, you're heading to the, right to the end yeah. here. So, yeah, then Eradicator returns. Yeah. Then they have their showdown with Cyborg. Like, okay, Super Point, this is what's. This is how they try to get Superman, Cyborg Superman over as a massive threat. Because mm. no, Superboy comes back for the finale. Then steals their Matrix Supergirl and Superman and Eradicator. So you're having five characters fight Cyborg Superman. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, get, but he's get, never get, this level threat ever again. Like until he the green in the Green Lantern in the Snatcher. Yeah, that's right? it. Yeah, he's not but he wasn't much of a threat in there. Uh, to be fair as well. But at this point, yeah, he's a massive major threat, and he's like, yeah, yeah. I guess because they, they built him up to be like the big boss, yeah, whatever, yeah end game character. Or and so they do that Kryptonian whatever blast, and Eradicate jumps in the way. Yeah, and then his powers get reabsorbed into Kal El Super, uh, Black Suit Superman. Yeah, who then just one punch right through Cyborg Superman. Well, I think it's two punches, right? Knocks off his jaw. Yeah, then then punches his. And then he's uh, dead. Not dead, yeah. but then he vibrates him to a million pieces. Yeah, 
To never be seen again. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. Yeah. He does so, come back. Yeah. Um, so what do you think of... Uh, what did you... You were going to say about the... Oh, I like this whole story because like it has implications onto like other DC characters like what happens with Hal Jordan. Yep. Drives him insane. Yep. And he kills all the Guardians and becomes Parallax. Uh, I don't think they were originally going for that story. Yeah, I know. It's just a byproduct. A byproduct. <laughs> but I don't know. I think they could have like... I, no, no, I think... So, yes, if they were originally going for that, but um, I don't... It didn't seem like they were originally going for it. He was just going to get over it and just be... Yeah. Another, and the Guardian in space or some stuff the Protector or some, something like that um, we'll go in, probably in depth with that later on if yeah. we do like Emerald Twilight New Dawn uh, yeah. retrospective um, but yeah he, I did, they initially weren't going to do the, that, that Parallax thing uh, and they were like I think they, were, they thought to themselves but why 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 do that then no no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. they were like well if his city was destroyed wouldn't that wouldn't that make him go yeah that's what I'm saying like, <laughs> yeah, <it's> like... <laughs> I think it's like you said, it's probably one of them things they locked into by accident. Because yeah. they're that all the time, but they're trying to make everyone change, like, characters to make some edgy, like, you know, this is, not long after this is when Batman gets his back broken, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And Green Arrow dies and all that stuff. So it's sort of change of the gods. Well, yeah, exactly. And the new wave, as you know, we were saying about Steel and Superboy. So, yeah. Um, and you could, I don't want to say how you could tell it, right? So they had these four characters, and you, the, the three of them, Cyborg, Superman, Superboy, and Steel, were relevant and they continue to be relevant to superman law yeah. eradicator as this fake superman was just not no <laughs> no they, they don't i mean it may come back as the eradicator long, but uh later on but as this as this superman version of the eradicator like just oh yeah. maybe we just need another fake we need the blatant evilly looking superman, yeah. which is bad superman got a young superman who doesn't look like superman then we gotta have we've got a man of steel i mean we've got steel who Definitely don't Definitely know. Those. <laughs> so we need a third one to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Actually, look like Superman. But yeah, you know, it's it's that it's dense, but it's um, yeah. As a collector story, the pace is or for Death of Superman is quite quick. Yeah. Fear for a friend sets up certain things, but I want to say I'll doubt a month break in between all their storylines to set up the next set of stuff. Yeah. And after you kill a guy, you got to leave it a little bit of time before. You right, you know, return him. Yeah. And I say a little bit of time because literally it was the next month afterwards um, that they turned out doing the storyline return of Superman. What was what like, is it? I thought there was a, some reason. I thought there was a break between. Well, like the, you, they're there for Superman, they're funeral for a friend, and no, no, I, yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought to like work. they did with like you know, if the whole um, John Paul Valley Night Batman thing. thing, yeah, where he was. Yeah, but when you read in the collector edition and they're coming out every week. Yeah. So got, yeah, and yeah. I thought they, they tried like a a run without Superman, then realized, no, hey, no, we got no. yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, nah, I don't think they. I I don't think they did, but then they never collected those in the graphic novel Superman. Yeah. Yeah. And did the red and blue Superman? This, did this come after this? The red and blue Superman. Yeah, the energy suit. Uh, suit. yeah, way after this, uh, about okay. nine 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 or something. I think. Yeah, I thought it was earlier than that. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Might be oh, like 97 ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we'll have to have a look at that because for some reason now I'm thinking maybe no, it's 2001. Right. No, it was that around that time because I knew, I remember buying a Justin comic as a kid, and that's when Aquaman had his hook on yeah. Guy God, not Guy God, no. Carl Rayner was Green Lantern. So yeah, yeah, it was later on. Um, later on. <coughs> okay, so now we'll get to the adaptations in comparison to what they needed to streamline for the comics versions. Yeah. Uh, and let's go for the animated movie. Uh, in which one? Which, which one, one did... to do first? Superman Doomsday. <laughs> okay, Superman Doomsday. All right, right. Uh, okay. 2007, Superman Doomsday, yeah? Yeah. What did you think of that? Um, when, when I first watched it, I thought it was okay, but I didn't like... Yeah. Uh, animated in the style of the Bruce Timm yeah. uh, DC Universe, uh, animated universe. Which one the bad? It wasn't um, bad. No, as in, the style was like it, but not exactly yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah, it was sort of like, like it's... you could say it's his cousin. Sort yeah, of yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah. Like the story, the whole... The, I like the beginning part. Yeah. Like the whole Doomsday fighting bit and all that. Uh, I like how they conveniently like uh, create Doom. I think Lex created Doomsday. You used uh, they cre- they use Lex to say he created Doomsday to destroy Superman. Yeah. I was like, okay, fine. You can't say he came from space. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Too much backstory. Too much backstory. For and it, yeah. and you kind of have to say he come from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, rather than the comics where he did come out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's, it'd be blatantly a loose end in this same five minute story. So you yeah, have yeah. to kind of compress everything but it's just like they way compressed everything yeah. they eliminated cyborgs like all the four mystery of the four supermen and uh superman comes back with his mullet and i'm like wait a minute he wasn't dead for that long yeah it was, it was and 
the clone Superman and all that stuff. It was like, oh, so this is all we're getting, just the clone Superman uh, who, who lobotomizes himself to get rid of a dragon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But at that point, he was like, okay, so justice, yes. Justice is good, man. Yeah. But uh, people, here's the thing, people, they do evil yeah. stuff. <laughs> so if we get rid of the people... The justice will prevail, like to that degree. I mean, yeah, the, like, the logic was like that. Yeah, not, not like, that was his thought process, but it was kind of that. Like, basically, was it? You're like, <laughs> yeah. Well, the bit world would be peaceful if there were no people on it. <laughs> I don't even think it that far, but, but yeah. yeah. But that's like his way of going. Like, okay, that makes sort of sense. Um, what did you think of it overall? Um, I thought it was just too compressed. They cut, ch- to yeah. cut too many things that were, I want to say, old signature within the the series that you'd ex- uh, in the story that you would expect. Yeah, but just like. Well, damn, this is so... Everything here, boom, 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 let's just move to the next part. Yeah, it was... Yeah, like you said, it's too streamlined, too compressed. Yeah. Just didn't, even time, didn't really give time the story to, like, flow or anything, because they took out all key points and everything. Yeah. And it felt like Superman dead for, like, two minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, what did you think of... Actually, no, let me, before we get to the animated universe, the other animated one, did you ever play the... Um, the Super, Death of Super, Death and Return of Superman game. No, I'm waiting to. I never could. So, uh, this game was a 994 uh, Super NES and a Mega Drive, and I did actually play it. I thought wanted it so bad. Uh, it's not bad actually. It's not bad as a so there's an, it's like a, some parts are like an R type. Yeah. You know, you're shooting a bit across the screen. A yeah. bit like a platformer, and uh, it does actually tell a really compressed version of the story. With text and like cutscene, not text cutscene, yeah, yeah, yeah. text turning into, and it's pretty uh, loyal to how the story turns out. You know, I don't want to say I was completely accurate because they no Justice League in this. Yeah, it's yeah, too yeah. much. Um, they do have the four fake super, uh, the four fake supermen in this, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Steel is somehow a boss when you find the Eradicator, but you wouldn't you really think it's the other way around because the, when you have a go through a level as Steel. And fight the, uh, the eradicate at the end of it. It makes more sense logic wise. Yeah. Because uh, here you framed Steel as a bad guy. Yeah. But within this context of the story, he's never done something, any, anything to be do yeah. bad. Yeah. Whereas like... if you put it the other, eradicate the other way, he's vicious. So yeah. you should just say, frame it as the way of, I, I don't like the way that you. you yeah, you're doing not like your justice. You, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you're, you're going too far and I have to stop you from yeah. doing something. Um, Superman fights punks though <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, like, it's weird. And the characters, Superboy, Superman, whatever. Who they when you scribe scrolling and fighting? Yeah, they're just fighting punks and you're like, how can they damage Superman? Whatever. Yeah. But I do have to say they do the Underworlders, uh, the first part of the Death of Superman storyline. Yeah. They do the Underworlders in this game as well. Okay. And it's pretty accurate, um, pretty well done. But yeah, they just I, I think it's just to add variety to then the other humans and stuff you fight. And yeah. <laughs> Um, what's funny is when you're eradicating, you're fighting a cyborg Superman. Yeah. And after you defeat him as a boss, he then he eradicates doing his pose, and then cyborg Superman gets up and blasts him. <laughs> I what? gotcha, I gotcha. And then you do next level, as I think Superboy. Same thing happens. You take down cyborg Superman, and then yeah. he gets up after the cutscene, after the pose, the winning pose and stuff, and he shoots Shoot him you. as well. Like, oh, you're a bunch of he's jokers, a scumbag. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't bad overall as an adaptation, actually, um, storyline wise. Like, they had to uh, the game. Yeah, they got to compress everything. Like. Yeah, yeah, but but they got the act. They you didn't get to know the characters. They didn't have any depth. They just were like, yeah. okay, it'd have been better if, for example, you had you could choose the four Superman players and then go across the level because more variety. Yeah, uh, different stuff. But then again, they don't. Have, they wouldn't have if they have the individual levels, for example, as, as part of their individual storylines. Like. But then still never was helping Superboy doing this, that, yeah, and the other. Yeah. So I guess kind of you would have to probably do like a text cutscene saying this Superboy yeah. and, it, and then player two could come and steal and do whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but it wasn't bad. Um, uh, Death and Return of Superman, the animated movies. Uh, DC Animated Universe in 2018 and 2019. What did you... Uh... Right, let me, just, let me just clarify. Yep. <clears throat> this is the Flashpoint. This universe was created from DC's... Flashpoint Paradox in 2013 and lasted all the way to 2020 where you're going to Justice League uh, do, uh, Apocalypse. Do, yeah, do, Apocalypse Dark, War. Da, 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 da. Justice League Dark Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Yeah, yeah okay. Amazing. So so yeah, this so what did you think of the this two hour and forty five minute what did you watch in separate parts or separate parts, separate parts. Right, right, right. Because I, yeah, I was looking at the time, I was like, well, okay, two hour and forty five minutes. 
This is actually it's got space to tell the entire story. Yeah. What did you think? It was great. I loved yeah. it. Like to me personally, I've all these into adaptations, <laughs> even comic wise. Yeah. Like, well, this is the best version of it because. Uh, including the original, you say yeah. this spending okay, okay, good. yeah, because yeah, cool. like a lot of this story wise makes sense, more sense because like even I just realised now that you told me about the <laughs> Master Manhunter being Bloodwind, so I go yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but like yeah, <laughs> had more the Just League was involved, had a better story. Like I like the whole him with Lois, but Lois doesn't know he's Superman, yeah, so. They, they, they gave a uh, backstory and uh, stakes to... The, yeah. Uh, okay. Conveniently, they had to... They removed that... Uh, so, Doomsday's come from a meteor that kills Hank Henshaw's... Yeah. Wife, that was messed uh, up, but yeah. Right? I was, we didn't even explain about Hank Henshaw. Oh, she was just quickly doing that. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> Hank Henshaw, the reason that Cyborg Superman and Hank Henshaw has beef with Superman is because, for some reason... They were trying to take the piss out of the Fantastic Four, yeah. and uh, they launched the uh, Hank Hirschhorn and his four cronies went into yeah. space just like Fantastic Four. Then they hit the radiation wave or something, like, crashed down to Earth. Superman tried to help save them. Hank Hirschhorn has been like, "All oh, I I can do it myself. I have yeah. the big brain." Like as a proper arrogant parody of um, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, his wife Terry is starting to fade away into another dimension. I love the Invisible Woman. Yeah. You had the kid. Like a human torch, he's uh, yeah, but he, he was like a some sort of cosmic radiation yeah. turned into like a a white flame version of of a human torch. Yeah. And then yeah, like you say, he went into space and he I have the power and he yeah, just blew up oh, supernova. Then the other the other guy, I think, he melded with some parts of the spaceship and some parts of the ground or something. Yeah. He became like a, a, a mud monster of some sort, and he went through basically. He stalked himself over to the hospital because there's so, so much pain. Yeah. And he used the, uh, what's it called then? A deep hip. No, the double thing. Uh, you know when you let's put have metal around it? Oh, um, <laughs> CT, is it a, scat, a CAT scan machine? Oh, no, he's oh, I don't know. MRI, yeah. MRI. Yeah, yeah, machine, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But yeah. basically just tore himself apart so he, he didn't need, to, so he literally was not in any more pain. Fair enough. And then yeah. Hank Henshaw does save his wife. But he himself is melting and dying away. Yeah, it's really good. And then he stuff. merges into the machines. And I think when he reconfigures his um, mentality and he tries to say to his wife, I'm back, she thinks she's being stalked by some sort of like uh, robotic machine monster yeah. thing and she jumps out of her window to try and <laughs> get away or like, a, like, you know, she thought she was going crazy or yeah. something like that. And then he goes into space, like he uses the... Kryptonian air spaceship yeah. that Superman sent in to go into space to then he encounters Mongol and then they try to bring walls over. That's yeah. what that is, right? Yeah. But in this version, yeah, Doomsday <laughs> crashes through the space, high controls. They, yeah, they're, all, they're trying to fix a satellite, then they get a warning saying the meteor coming, which is Doomsday yeah. getting sent from who knows where right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's all like, We'll be fine. Superman was saying, what's was before? Yeah, Superman was saying, what's Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Superman said, oh, where, 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 where Crashes you? through the, air, the, the spaceship and literally just kills everyone. Even and then, they, well, they get stuck down the space. Yeah. Then the mutant just yeah. wipes him out. And that's how much him for now. Yeah, that, and yeah. that's, uh, that's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, for now. Uh, and then there's some story, that's how the story essentially starts. Doomsday hits the ground. Yeah. And uh, beats up everyone. Yeah, kills... <laughs> He lands, uh, he lands in the sea, kills yeah. some Atlanteans. Takes a couple of shotguns to the face. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just makes his world tour, just going through it. Killing now, here's everyone. the thing, bro, and I was thinking about the Justice League before, in the, the comic version. Mm. This is the big the big yeah. seven of the Justice League. Um, though I think they, if we're including Hawkman in there, there's more yeah. than seven. But it's got Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash, Cyborg... Uh, Martian Man, uh, yeah, 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 and uh, Hawkman being it, so being the Hawkman character, I, I can accept that he just he decides to fly to Doomsday and hit him with the his mace a yeah. couple of times, like all right, because you're you are a, like a brute, it, it, not a brute, but you know you kind of he rash thinker, yeah, he he thinks of his fist rather than his brain. So when Doomsday punches him in the face a couple of times, like, and he's out of action, I'm like, fair, fair. Yeah. But Green Lantern, when they say like Batman's like Green Lantern needs to grow with, no, no, I can take him by myself. I can do it. I yeah. can do it. I don't need it. And then he gets pummeled and eliminated. And it's just like, 
Right. I can see where this is going. Yeah. Uh, Flash is also... He puts I mean, up a decent fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just pummels... Tried, he gets Hawkman's maze, pummels Doomsday, and they get smacked across, uh, and then you never see them again. Yeah. But the one that, that does the most impressive standing is uh, Batman because he never engages the guy yeah it's like because he knows if he engages yeah. do that he's dead yeah literally. he's just like I'll get away over here get, try to get away over here distractions there distractions yeah. there but just, I'm trying to just keep him here until someone can help me yeah um, which uh, Martian Manhunter Wonder Woman I mean they would look Martian Manhunter they, they, and Cyborg by the way yeah but Martian Manhunter he tries to rescue Batman um, by like he, he, he's intangible so Superman yeah, yeah. they can't hurt him then he m- tries to help Batman he yeah, has to go through Doomsday yeah because uh, Doomsday to fight, and then Su- Doomsday grabs him and throws him in the gas station and he gets yeah. set on fire and it's just like uh, okay kind of convenient to, to, to get rid of uh, Martian Manhunter and someone's that powerful so you can then have du- uh, Superman come in and save the, the day yeah because like, there's Superman too. yeah it's true yeah. it's true but then it's like Shazam exists in this universe and Shazam will help you guys in uh, Justice League War so he could be off planet oh point. yeah yeah but they, yeah. they don't say where he is yeah. they just conveniently just, they're like who do who you mean what, Shazam what, what do you mean what do you mean yeah yeah. because how they like if you watch Wonder 4 they establish it's like the Justice League is like <coughs> rotating members because even one of them John yeah. Stewart's in it instead of Hal Jordan. Oh, really? Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah I mean, they, they They didn't use Shazam because it's like, if he's got the equivalent power of Superman, then he could also handle Doomsday to a certain degree. I mean, like, the fight would be easier if you're having Superman, Wonder Woman, and Shazam just like... Yeah. But, but um, so, yeah. It doesn't build drama. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But then it's, it's nicely done how they did it because yeah. it's like Superman, the reason they're like, okay, we can have, we, our entire group, we've handled... Dark side. Yeah. Right. So Superman, you take care of whatever you need to take, which is yeah. his relationship with Lois Lane right now. And it's like, okay, we don't need your help at the moment. Don't worry about anything. It will be fine. Yeah, yeah. And then it turns out, obviously, yeah, not. no. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But it's quite an impressive um, fight. It, it, when you look at this movie and you're like, okay, so it's just all, it's essentially, literally. it's just an all fight. Yeah. <laughs> just like the comics. You're like, 9% fight and then yeah. 10% Lois Clark stuff, which yeah. was. Could have been a bit tiny, bit more, but yeah, no, no, yeah, but in, it helped. Yeah. It, it, it actually up this because it, it made it, what happens at the end more yeah. impactful. Because and they forego everyone else's character development or yeah. progression or storyline because they they're not needed. It's yeah, like it's Superman, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you know he's gonna die, but you, they build him to a certain degree where you're like, you know, I'm gonna, there's some care for when the character does. Uh, yeah, <laughs> kick the bucket. Yeah, um, and uh, and he does, it's not as if he comes there steal all the glory no. to fight. He he's getting beat up as yeah. well, and uh, Lois has to come from rocks at Doomsday to distract him. And then, Even, like, what do one... you think about the uh, when Super f- flies at Doomsday and spins his neck the other way around? Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, that like I said to me, that's the best death. Better than this comic where they just both punch each other and yeah. then it will. It's like, oh, so you've been punching each other for like, like. But literally, they animate the Doomsday's yeah, head spin 180 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Like, jeez. Then get stabbed. Like, oh. Yeah, he flew into a, uh, he flew into a pike or yeah. uh, like a uh, Doomsday spike. Um, all right, fair enough. I like the, also when Lex Luthor came thinking like, yeah, you know. Oh, yes. Okay. No, this is great. I, 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 this is what I have in my notes here. <laughs> right? I forgot to mention it. But yeah. So Superman's get beat up, Doomsday's doing this thing, and then Lex Luthor comes in his uh, spacesuit, yeah. uh, anti-Superman suit, whatever it is, right? And I'm like, I wrote my notes, Lex Luthor here to hold the glory like he's having a hot tag from yeah. Superman. He's like, he stole the hot tag and he's like, I'm going to take down Doomsday and finish it. This is actually his persona and what he's actually saying there. He's like, Monster, I will take you down. Yeah. I am Lex Luthor, the, the, the king of Metropolis. You will fall before me. He and then- thought of all things, like, he's seen like Wonder Woman or I get it. Yeah. But the up. funny thing is when Doomsday tears my suit, he's like, no, no, this can't be. I'm meant to win. Like, no, <laughs> yeah, I was like, idiot. this guy, this guy is a joke. Oh, I want to say is that he just, uh, I mean, he's just deliberately overly hammy, but it's, it suits yeah. what's going on because he's not, it's kind of serious as well. shows how deluded he is. Yeah. It was pretty good. And then, yeah, the death was like, oh, wow, he's, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um... Everything after that, like the funeral parts and that, I thought that was quite sad. Yeah. Like, bit I was like, oh, that's really bad. It's like when, you know, they're having a public funeral or whatever, yeah. and then you see Ma and Pa Kent outside crying, because obviously they don't know yeah. that as his parents. And man goes, oh, sorry, you got me back away. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's wrong with her? Oh, uh, he meant a lot to 
everyone is like, yeah, he really did. I was like, oh, his mum and dad can't go to. Yeah, yeah. It's a, that was a, I mean, like, the officer had to do what. Uh, yeah, he didn't yeah, know just, the situation. Even after the situation, because it's like, yeah, there is concern. Yeah, but he he had at the same time his job was just to keep people. Yeah, in, like so. It was, it, and they couldn't have to do the double speak where it's the audience that knows, but the characters in the thing don't know. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, yeah, that was that was uh, quite quite um and quite um, the other funny bit is when Luther's like at his funeral trying to say yeah I remember me and Superman's be odds but you know I miss our chats when he'll come to my balcony and part wisdom and part wisdom right? <laughs> to me and one was like you lying piece of <laughs> right, actually you know what's funny in this um that you uh that was quite a little bit of a nod to Death Superman's Fury line hmm. when Luke's Lex Luthor he's under house arrest we've seen before yeah. Uh, and um, he's got these ankle bracelet weather. Yeah. So he goes out to do see his opera thing, right? And he come back in the lift, and he's got his red hair yeah, wig no and his yeah, beard, like, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Like okay, fair enough, fair enough. Then you know. And um, there's one more thing I thought quite good before we move on to the next bit. Um, when he's obviously the Justice League at his funeral, they're yeah. all looking like like they haven't been for a battle or whatever. And he yeah. goes to Batman at the Batcave, born that Batcave at Wayne Manor. He's all bandaged up, yeah. looking through the window, sort of crying, and then Damon's like, "Oh, Dad, hug." Yeah. It's like, oh, that's right. They were friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so, what what did you think about the, the how they interpret the return of Superman within this um, story animated universe? Again, it, I like it more than the comic one because yeah. again, it's more con- it's more straightforward and not yeah, weirdly yeah, yeah, convoluted. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing is, I guess uh, after twenty years of of yeah, yeah. of uh, that the comic coming out they were like okay we need to eliminate this and that because it doesn't it's not relevant in our universe yeah um clean up certain things and stuff like that it was but like it, a new 52 version of the turn of yeah, yeah 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 uh and it's quite funny how they had all their fights yeah <laughs> like so the the, the lex Luthor's like Praise be the next the uh, Superboy as our yeah uh, as return- our savior yeah yeah because sort of uh, I have great Timmy he's part of Lex Corp let's have a big opening bash or something and Eradicator comes down and says bitch that ain't happening yeah. essentially and like, oh, wow, <laughs> he's okay. Superman I am and then yeah you have to have like you will steel be eradicated yeah you have steel and Superboy t- trying to fight Eradicator and I just thought it was hilarious where Mercy I, I don't know if it's Mercy Graves I can't remember yeah exactly. it is but. Le- eradicate is like Lex Luthor you'll be eradicated Shuts bl- uh, <laughs> Lex Luthor grabs Mercy and puts yeah. her in front of the blast thanks for your service Mercy she's like what and he's like boom yeah, he's such a dick in this uh, and um, uh, yeah and then uh, they have that fight to, and it really does frame Eradicate as like a proper dick because then a super cyborg Superman comes and says enough's enough yeah so basically he's like three Superman against this one rash vicious Superman just like no one can have the mantle but I'm me yeah um but it's quite well done in the sense of like you know what it establishes him as the number one dick yeah. in there in the entire group that's non the most non like Superman like in persona yeah um but yeah Cyborg Superman at this point obviously as we know is Hank Henshaw yeah um, but they still don't know it but they then you he has these visions or not the visions but the flashbacks where Doom Dark Side is communicating from so yeah. he's all like okay from the very beginning of this universe where they had Justice League War. Yeah. And Dark, Dark Side now created Doomsday. Yeah. Uh, and then he put... Uh, he Even though, like, the, him making Doomsday so makes no sense, yeah. but it makes more sense. It makes sense for this universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, there's another thing to do with that. Oh, yeah. Um, I think... They, so, the Justice League... Conveniently, all the time in all the adaptations, either they're not there or they get removed. But yeah, yeah they get boom tubed off to another planet. Um, so then, then Black Soup Superman with his mullet somehow yeah. uh, was like he's not long. He wasn't dead and uh, long enough to have a mullet well, hair. Six months. Was it six months? Yeah. I thought it was like maybe weeks or something. No, like. six months. And okay, maybe then. Because of the kryptonian hibernation chamber whatever i guess it might make his hair grow longer i don't know <laughs> okay all right <clears throat> but yeah they 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 disappear yeah. and then cyborg superman is like oh you know you can all because the just league has disappeared you can all be heroes if you have these devices that i have created uh which realist real 
uh, dark side creators yeah. uh, to but, turn these people into parademons or some some sort of uh, soldiers. Yeah. But uh, even then, army. shouldn't like people like. That's a bit weird. You know what I mean? Like, why oh, would Superman no, no, do we this? Trust, but we trust Superman. He looks... Well, yeah, to be fair, he looks like he Superman. Looks but no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. He's like, then he got, like, a quarter of his head. Like, <laughs> yeah. How do you not think um, this guy's... Yeah, but then uh, I think they had they had to have the real Superman take the glory to fight uh, Cyborg Superman at the end. Yeah. And uh, like, yeah, but... Is... I mean, like, the way you, you have to basically just... So there's the big end fight where the parademons or whatever is invading are invading, and then Steel and Superboy are kind of like, all right, well they're fighting them, yeah, and real Superman has to go and fight Cyborg Superman. Oh yeah, fair enough, but it's just like, well, um, I suppose I mean, when you have want these two to help this deep out yeah, Superman to fight, because then <laughs> if you're trying to, then it kind of takes away. The- Superman's glory is like, no no he, they could get taken out during the fight yeah but then that's then you're sort of chomping them out if you just have Superman oh, right, right, right. fighting him getting his like butt kicked and then obviously he gets his influence back with the suit of um, sunlight gives him back his power oh yeah, right, right, right. yeah I mean there's there's different ways they could go but it's just that like, as soon as they've got the Justice League back as well they're like all cont- they're all trying to contain what's going on yeah and it's like, okay, well, Superman's gone off there, so he can take, he can have his show, showdown with Hank Henshaw. Everyone else just stay down here. Yeah, but plus it makes more sense if he's just fighting him because like Ham, Ham, Hank Henshaw's whole thing is like, he oh wants yeah, to get it's, back it's at direct Superman. beef with Superman. Yeah, as well as then you can have the Lois Lane how she was helping him in the spaces yeah. as well. So kind of, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it, no, I'm just saying in the comic version they had everyone to help. Yeah, yeah. band together to because in the comic version that's like you're saying before they want to like branch these guys off to have their yeah, comics. Yeah. There's I mean, no way they, there's going to be a steel car. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I suppose it's fair enough. Six they months did. later, they killed the whole line off. But yeah, yeah. But I, I gave it. See, how you put that just makes a lot of sense. It's just like, yeah, we don't need to put the, get these guys over. Yeah. Because <laughs> not only we're going to maybe finish the series, but then we're not going to make our. I don't think we're going to make a steel animated movie yeah, or Superman. Super super you, know, you know. Um, so that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But I think it was they were they got the best parts in the, in these. This combined animated movie, yeah. the best parts of the comics, streamline certain things, um, and uh, elaborate on certain other things. Yeah, and because um, like they, they were want... leading to the bigger storyline. Yeah, because they didn't need Mongol War. Or, yeah, but say if they want Mongol, we're like, who is this guy? Anyway? <laughs> yeah, 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 Why yeah. is he? Here? Yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing I was upset about, even though it's because I'm sad, I was like, oh, they should have done the whole Coast City getting blown up thing. That would have been great. Oh, uh, like... yeah, but then the... see now, logically speaking, maybe you could have went from there to. How during this coast city got destroyed, then you in Parallax Zero yeah. and then that will reset the universe rather than flashing Justice League Ward. But then you have to bring back Dark Side because that's where they set up an entire yeah. line to begin with. So Yeah, like, so it's like, yeah, after when I saw Dusty Dark, Apocalypse was like, okay, it makes sense, they just done it that yeah. way. Unless uh, they could have just done it, like you saying. Yeah. They got Hal Jordan, so then you got the threat of Dark Side and then yeah. you got the threat of Parallax as well. Yeah. And between them two, doing whatever they did and Flash running back, yeah. they reset the entire universe to end the entire line. I suppose, but that'd be kind of a bit too mucky to kind of... Yeah, it's like <coughs> adding more problems to our <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we, don't need to, we don't need to do that. Just nah. yeah. Start with Dark Side, end with Dark Side. So, there are two more. Technic- so, this is just about Superman, Death of Superman with, with involves Doomsday. So, yeah. we'll go to Batman vs Superman afterwards, but this one, one before that is, uh, did you ever see uh, Death of, uh, Return of Superman by Max Landis? Like, his uh, retelling. You know Max Yeah, 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 I've seen that. Yeah, I saw on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. 17 minutes, uh, um, 2012. Yeah. And I watched it. It's quite fun, actually. He's, he, he's inaccurate in certain things. He's yeah, the yeah. Titanium fighting the Maximum and stuff like that. But who, why get, why let facts get in the way of a good story? No. <laughs> well, it was a fun retelling. And there's the breeze as well. Um, but it's, it's, it's the jokey kind of retelling. Yeah. Uh, over the top, they, they speak and they act as, as, Mouth, like he's dubbed over what the actors say. Yeah. So they say exactly how he says it as well. It's all jittery and stuff like that. I thought it was kind of. Um, it was good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's it a joke. It's it's yeah. a, it's, a, it's not meant to be taken seriously. And yeah, some things he says is not quite how the story tells. Yeah. But, it's like you know what. But you know, you know he, he, the way they verbalize some things, the characters are not going to see that. Like, yeah. He, Doom, they punched Superman in the dick. Like no, he no, didn't. Did. But they're like you know, where? Well, if he did, it was off panel. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but uh, that's quite quite enjoyable watch. 
But the uh, the last adaptation, or technically, I wouldn't say this is an adaptation, but, but we'll just speak about the section of Batman vs Superman that involved this part of the story, uh, right? Because yeah, yeah. the rest of the movie, varying opinions that everyone has, right? We just yeah. do whatever's relevant to what we're speaking about at the moment. Um, so we'll just take it from the part where I guess um, they resurrect. Superman, no, no, Superman flies to Lex Luthor after Batman beats up the people in the warehouse, right? Yeah, and then so. And uh, Superman flies off to Lex Luthor. And so from that point onwards, this yeah, massive, yeah. this this fight, um, as a retelling of the death of Superman bit, I think I think actually super, uh, the the guy the person who had the best showing here, obviously Batman couldn't do Jack. And this is my opinion. Um, he had the Kryptonite gun, and he would like you can even do two things with him here. You can have him trying to line up shots because he, he's trying to take the shot with that Kryptonite yeah. gas, and 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 we can do the same. Uh, so you got, he's he's lying, go, do, shoot, uh, shooting his grappling gun, trying to find the best shots because he can't get involved with the action, yeah. right? So you can either have that, or you can have him uh, as as he's seeing someone get beat up, throw distractions like flashbangs yeah, yeah. and explosions and stuff like that, right? But what was what they kind of did was like he didn't do anything. He was kind of he does do a bit of grappling around trying to distract Doomsday, yeah. But it's like, well, he's there and he's not helping. Noisy, not helping. He's kind of just yeah. He should have not been there in my first opinion. Yeah, well, they, 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 yeah. So the other thing they could have done, done was not have him in the entire scene until the bit where he's relevant because then you don't wonder where he's gone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, yeah, you get the argument of, oh, he, he is actually not helpful in this scenario. So what, why are they going to make him helpful? Yeah. And, uh, what, do anything. But it's just like, well, yeah, but when you see Superman getting punched in the face and Batman's got explosives, at least that gives Superman a second to come back. Yeah. To, um, the the person who came off looking the best here in this entire fight was Wonder Woman because uh, and I don't know if this was something I noticed just because um, the way that they shot it but Superman just been he's just taking the punches right yeah just being um, the cannon for the two degree and Wonder Woman's doing the best there but you could argue that she can actually fight so that's yeah. the difference but you never see her getting punched in the face or anything like that you see her getting hit with long shots and and. Swat like you see that the, the blur of her coming in and the blur of her flying yeah, yeah. off and stuff, or the impact, and then uh, she's flying back, but never the actual impact hit. Yeah. Uh, whereas Superman's just taking punts and kicks and punches to the face, like like, well, yeah, okay, I guess. Yeah, because he can, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to say, oh, this big brute of a monster is just pummeling on a woman. You're know, like, oh, we can't say it's sexist. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm not think... saying they did that on purpose. I'm just yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it just like it was like. He's taken Superman's taken a lot of beating, and the Wonder Woman's got a shield though, so he shouldn't be able to, like, or you know, take a couple of hits. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. She can withstand it, you know. But but then like, it makes more sense him taking a lot of hits because then like obviously because he dies, so it, le- yeah. it yeah. brings it to him. Oh no, I'm just saying on the camera, on camera. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. um, that's what I'm just saying. That's what I noticed. I'm not saying oh, I was uh, how they did it. Yeah, but she did come off there looking good. Yeah, um, doing the most damage with her sword and and stuff like that. And her power level would seem kind of like really, really, really high. Yeah. To be capable of like fist fighting Doomsday. Not fist fighting. Man. She's using a sword, but she chops parts of him off. Yeah, his arm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, I thought it was just... Right. So how do you fly with a kryptonite spear if kryptonite weakens you? That's my main problem. My own problem. I right always there. say the termination. He knows yeah. if he doesn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, look, look, the people's arguments are: why, 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 why can Wonder Woman just lasso Doomsday thing and give Superman a lasso, and then she can go in there with the spear? And like, yeah, but they had a story that they kind of wanted to tell, and they were yeah. like, "Logic be damned, we're just gonna tell it." Essentially, yeah. um, I see the problem with that. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, like, like my problem was him dying. I was like, why? You, yeah, it's a second movie. Yeah, we didn't get like, enough backstory. Of of like, like you know, all of a sudden they're all best friends, mm-hmm. even though a couple of minutes, minutes ago, before, literally, you're yeah. trying to kill each other. Yeah, that's yeah. that was my thing. Like, if this was like say four movies in, I reckon he's death and that would make more of an impact. Like, oh wow, that's pretty sad. Superman's dead, but like it's one movie. Literally, he had one movie, and he's in this one, and then he's dead. Like, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This um, is not... To be, to be the good though. No, the fight was a. Uh, well, it was a brute fight. I want to say I was choreographed well in the sense that you know it's like a martial arts. Fight, yeah, yeah. But they were like, like just power moves, just, yeah. just throwing bombs at each other. 
And, super, and Doomsday just uh, comes out with heat vision in many of these adaptations to randomly get heat yeah. vision, but in the original comic, never had it. But then I guess the original comic, they were like, what was this original? We, we don't know at this point. They know point. the point, yeah. yeah. And we, and then, we'll on that in later. Yeah, 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 and the rest of the adaptations, he's tripped only to some degree. So yeah. it's like, heat vision kind of makes sense. It's like, all right, yeah. I guess so. Right, right. But this um, version of Doomsday was stupid anyway. Well, yeah, but how they wrote him in, like he's part of, he was the... A uh, mixture of General Zod's DNA and, and corrupted Krypton DNA, some of these. <coughs> uh, regeneration Matrix with Lex Luthor's mm-hmm. DNA and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, fair, fair enough for this movie, execution wise, um, they couldn't do the the thing where you come out of nowhere from Krypton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of folded into a story where yeah. it kind of made the sense in the best way you could with what they were doing. Yeah, but it's one um, thing again, it's like, it's but how tall already. is he? You know, how tall is he? He's like massive. Yeah, it's like Doomsday already. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, straight here, straight. Here. <laughs> so never they never called it actually. Funny enough, Nick. Oh yeah, behold, you're Doomsday. Yeah. Every time, every time in each of these comics, uh, each of these retellings, Booster Gold punched in the face in the comics one. Uh, Super yeah. fu- catch them. He's like, it's like Doomsday is yeah. here. And then, and then uh, in this one, it's behold, you're Doomsday. In the other one, what, uh, Lois Lane said something about it's, it's, Metropolis is Doomsday. Like, yeah, I'm like, like that's it. We call it Doomsday. Wrong with it. Like, oh. uh, yeah, and it's funny as well in the animated one that that uh, they've named him Doomsday, like you said in that. Yeah. And then they on Dark Side is like this Doomsday device or something. Yeah, my like, Doomsday like, weapon. Yeah, like, it's like wait a minute, but how do you know they? Why would you just two happen? These two strangers just happen to call it the same thing. I can I accept that Darkseid would say it's a Doomsday weapon. Yeah. But that Lois would say it at the same time. Uh, well, I think... No, not at the same time. No, in, yeah, no, but... The you, same... I thought that the first time, but then watching um, Justice League Dark, yeah. Apocalypse War, when you found out that all this time Darkseid has been watching Earth, Oh, I suppose. Yeah. I, suppose uh, I mean, no, in the vacuum, yes. Yeah, in yeah, the, the vacuum, but, but, but yeah, but, when, like I said, when I found out, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes <coughs> sense now. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. makes sense. Yep. They were clever there, but um, yeah. <coughs> was yeah. Um, I just, like I said, but it's there. Was it impactful? Uh, yeah, and when um, at least they did the black suit. Superman only came back, but uh, in, in the Snyder cut, in the Snyder cut. Yeah, that's it. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Wait? no I, yeah, I was like uh, in my head. I was like, I took a pause for a second. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but he just, did wear the black suit yeah. in. Man of Steel, yeah, in, in that dream sequence. Yeah, but but what I mean is, in the just in the Snyder cut, he comes back with the black suit, so that's more like a uh, similar to the comics where he came yeah. with the black suit. I know in the original cut, the theatrical cut of Just Sleek, he came back with his normal suit. Yeah. Realistically speaking, I know about the reshoots and all that stuff, but if he's been dead sometime, why didn't you just keep the beard on him for a couple of shots? Yeah. Like, it would have just made sense if you're going to have the mullet hair. I mean, if you could grow mullet hair... Not that, dead. he just... He had the same hair when he came back. Like, nothing really changed, really. What I'm talking about now, it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, for that yeah, reason... Yeah, like you said, they could, they could have just kept... Like you're saying, yeah, they could have just kept the... Yeah, the beard... beard uh, on uh, until until the final shots where he comes to help uh, against Steppenwolf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at, least, at least then you have, like, okay, you only need it for the... It's the CG or whatever it is for that... The yeah. The beard for those shots. Yeah, yeah, it's a nightmare. That film. But uh, again, yeah, Justice League. I didn't mind. I didn't mind that film. Well, the the Justice League theatrical cut. Yeah, didn't mind. Well, uh, you know, okay, we'll get into this later. <laughs> when yeah. But I think it was a course correction for the characters that was too sharp for how they were established previously. Yeah. Uh, in the rest of the Snyder universe, but uh, just to tail this off, um, are you looking forward to the Snyder cut? As, as as part of this, because it's still going to be part of what we're talking about, yeah. like the return of Superman. So it is going to yeah. it's going to have part of that storyline. So I do, I do reckon they will adapt the rest of that. I mean, Definitely. they're not going to have Steel when they're not Definitely. going to have Steel when. Mm. No. Do you think he's just going to glaze over it and just like he's he's returned and that exact similar to the theatrical cut? I think similar to that, like just like oh, we're getting back from with the um, yeah, we need him because of my dream or some dumb drama okay, like that. Okay. But yeah, I'm 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 watch. I'm happy to. See. All right, with this film, I'm happy that he's finally getting vision out. Yeah, but I'm not happy how it came about. <laughs> okay, sense, elaborate, yeah. elaborate just a little bit. Like the whole online bullying sort of thing oh, to get okay. the film. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. But yeah, I want to see it. I'll see it. <clears throat> three, four, the three mini, no, the four hour long episodes that's going to make this film. Yeah. Oh uh, well, uh, yeah. I kind of as we're talking about the death and the return of Superman adaptations as part of this I'm interested to see yeah. how they have how what they use and what they don't use yeah. because they 
they're not adapting it straight up. They're no. not even going to take cherry pick bits and pieces like some of these uh, yeah, other. Yeah, the the so like, just... they kind of like glaze yeah. over it and like oh, it's, uh, it's, so we'll just see how. I mean, like you say, it's, it's four hour long movie, so let's just see what kind of bits and pieces they use and uh, as a cut overall. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is kind of like maybe it should have been two two hour movies as it or yeah. four one hour. Yeah, 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 it just is too way too long though to be. A one whole movie. Yeah. Um, and I suppose if he could, says he couldn't cut it certain bits, then I don't know. They probably shouldn't have signed that long off yeah. script to begin <laughs> exactly. with. You know? Someone just there, said, someone said, like a producer or someone. Someone should knocked like, on the head before it went Yeah, happened. it was yeah. like, hold on a second. We've got, we've got to... Um, do you know the entire... Okay, we're not going to go into this now. I'm just going to ask you the question mm. and then we'll cap off. But do you know what the Zack Snyder's entire vision storyline for the Justice League was to begin with? The five movie arc. No. Well, the f- okay. So technically speaking, I think it's meant to be a five movie art, but this Justice League, this particular Justice League movie, breaks into two. So then we'll extend it to six, I think. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because if it, he was saying, he, oh, this would have been released as two movies, one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then yeah. it would have pushed this five movie arc into six movies. Um, okay, we'll get into that later. Yeah. I'll, 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 I read it, but as uh, I'll have to explain to you, I'll just reread it at some point and we'll just do yeah, a, cool. um, a the original vision or something yeah. like that of the Justice League. Okay, so... Right, um, before, um, when I <laughs> sort of sit, I said this to you in a text, um, talking about Superman's deaths, do you, um, do you know about how Superman oh. 2 died? No, 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 no. But yeah. I know it's not Doomsday related, right? No. But okay. it's, yeah, it, give me that lowdown. Yeah, it's it's crazy, crazy, yeah. So you, I said to you, you, you text me, and we're like, oh, yeah, let's do a talk on uh, Death and Return of Superman. And you're like, all right, is um, New 52 Superman count, right? And I'm like, uh, just Doomsday related stuff. And then I was like, I was having a quick wiki of how he died. Uh, and I was like, and it sounds wacky. Because you were like, you were like to me, okay. Um, it's a treat. Yeah, yeah. Treat. Like, I'm like, all right, all right. Tell you what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, here's just, this <laughs> quick clip notes. Okay. You know, Superman got a new power. He had a new fit to Superman. Yeah. Had a new power where he done a pseudo flare. Yeah. But every time he used it, he'll lose his power for twenty four hours. So basically, he used that too much, and then he lost his power for a while. And then fighting Randall Savage, he got bathed in kryptonite. Yep. But then he got his powers back. And then during the Dark Side War, yeah, he fell into a um, apocalyptic. Volcano and got overcharged with power. Yeah. So after all this, he came back. The god with, of strength, Superman. Yeah. yeah. And then he found out that he's overloaded his powers and he's dying. Okay. So he goes around basically telling everyone, "Yeah, I'm dying. We've only got this much time together." But why the heck that's happening? All that power he's used off in a solar flare has manifested into a one person who thinks he's Clark Kent and Superman. So he's going around saying, "I'm Superman." People are like, "No, you're not. Yeah. Murdering them." So they capture <laughs> him in Argos. In in Arg Arg was it Argus? Argus. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, not Argos. The uh, the shop. Yeah, the... not Argos. The shop. <laughs> they capture him, and then he's like, "I'm Superman." And Superman's like, "No, you're not. Cause I'm Superman. I'm yeah. right here." Yeah. He goes, "No, no, no. I am." Then he does some. Then he fights some other guy called Lu- Ulysses. And why that happening? That Superman of the flare. Yeah. And then goes off, and then goes to kidnap Lois Lane. But why that's all happening? Previous continuity Superman, yeah, who goes by Clark White, is with his wife, and he comes. Then that Superman, bearded Superman, right? Bearded yeah, black bearded, Superman, uh, yeah. kid. He comes. Then we're gonna call um, fake Superman Solar Man right now. Okay, yeah, I stole that from somewhere. But yeah, <laughs> he comes and goes. You can't be here. I'm Superman. Dude's like, no, I'm Superman. <laughs> yeah. So they start fighting. Yeah, and then New Two Superman comes and goes. Hey guy with beard we look alike because oh, i'll tell you about this later off <laughs> time for this we'll fight this guy <laughs> so they're fighting all this <laughs> so weird and then gets to a point where <laughs> i just want to say the way that you did it is like when you when the superman talks to being super like oh, typical look being a super like son <laughs> right now it's like, not the time we've got time for this <laughs> yeah yeah like we got a dude to fight, okay, to you fight just, him yeah you just hold off a little bit when so you know. he fight him and then but this guy's Getting more stronger and stronger. And then Beardy Superman's like, kid, we've got to do this together. And then he's like, nah, the world's going to need a Superman. So he knocks him out. Yeah. So he takes Solar Man up into the sky, absorbs all his energy, and, does a, and a big explosion goes off. Then he comes down to Earth, and he's the, finally the kryptonite poison is killing him. So he's telling, like, 
at this time he's dating Wonder Woman. He's like, yeah. Wonder Woman, I'm dying. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> and then Batman's like, but you're my best friend. It's like, yeah. I know, but <laughs> yeah. I'll see you in the other Thumbs life. Thumbs up, Terminator. Right? And then Bearded Superman's like, oh, dude, man, this is sad. We didn't really get to know each other. And he goes, I know. Kara, you're the last son of our Krypton. Uh, the Look last, last Kryptonian, Kryptonian right? of yeah. R1, yeah. not including Bearded Man. Yeah. <laughs> so then he just turns to Ash and dies. But why that happens, his power gets transferred to Long and Lang and Lois Lane. Right. New 52 Lois Lane. Yeah. And then that's when they become Superwoman. But they, 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 the two of them merge two together? Becomes, no, they become separately. No, it's... it's a, <laughs> this is weird. I'll tell you about this part off, on, off camera. So yeah, no, 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 no. You've already started it. People right, want so to know. Yeah, they become a lightning bolt comes off, so his powers get put into them. Yeah. But they have certain attributes of his powers. Yeah. So both of you, Wonder Woman, me, Superwoman. Sorry. So then he's dead. You know, Bearded Superman becomes Superman of our world, yeah, yeah. and then. Everyone's... And somehow they merge the continuities together as well once he becomes... No, that's just... another different weird... Oh, right, that's okay. We're going to go to that. We're going to yeah, go to that now. I'll tell you off camera. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not... so then, yeah. So then Rebirth, Superwoman happens, and it's all advertised like there's two superwomen, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Even though Lois Lane dies in the first issue. <laughs> right, right, right. But not, but not, not bearded Superman's Lois no, Lane. No, two superwomen, uh, um, yeah. Lois Lane. So that's how they got rid of her. Okay, hold on. Just... As a, a clean up here because I want to leave these people and myself in suspense. Yeah. yeah. How does the universe merge these? Because New 52, they, they retcon all the Bearded Superman old continuity stuff back in. Yeah. Uh, so, how does that, just quickly, as quickly as you can, how does that, how does that work? It doesn't. It's, it's weird. No, that hasn't worked. What do they do? What do they do? It's um, like with like Batman, they pick and choose. Yeah. So but they're just like, we now accept. Bearded Superman as the Superman. No, but Falcon. New 52, if I remember correctly, New 52 Superman, New 52 Superman did happen. Yeah. But he's been, Mr. Mipelix yeah. erased him from everyone's memory. All right. So that's when, you know, in... Oh, they, so then he, he basically fit in... Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, that makes yeah. sense. I was like, wondering, they, they made a lot of muck on themselves because they could have had a, a black, suit, black suit bearded Superman Helping behind the scenes yeah. until uh, that's what they were doing at first. Yeah, yeah and but then, then I was like, okay, fair enough, fair enough. You have the old continuity because then you brought Body West back as well. So the old continuity does exist, to exist uh, does exist within these two characters. Yeah, uh, minds. But when you try to replace another character with, with another character, at yeah. least Wally West, what, there was a separate Wally West. Yeah, from him. But if you have two Supermen with the exact same name, they get messy. But yeah, yeah you're just saying. Um, yeah, essentially be- mix it. Because, okay. Yeah, fine, because. <coughs> Um, there was a point where clock because everyone knew at this point as well, new clock Kent yeah. Superman, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So then there was a there was a clock Kent say, "Hey, I'm not Superman," and there, and even Bearded Superman was like, when he became our Superman, yeah. like, but I'm him. Wait, what? He got yeah. confused, and then you found out that Mister Mipolix created that Superman, that Clark Kent, yeah, to help that Superman have a normal life. Back. Okay. But then. He was pissed off with Superman because Superman forgot him because he got captured by Mr. Oz who turns out to be Superman's dad who's evil. Okay, yeah. that's, that is a whole new yeah, number exactly. thing, right? Right, yeah. right. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So, yep. so a lot of DC continuity things that we might have to go, to, go through at some point. Yeah. But um, yeah, um, I don't know. Um, like, we'll probably review a couple of... I mean, there's a good couple of other storylines. We're saying Emerald yeah. Twilight, New Dawn, or, like, Sinestro Wars, or even some crappy storylines. Yeah. Like, I know we always take... Uh, we have a joke about um, uh, Spider-Man One More Day, yeah, or Sins Pass, and stuff no like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but, we'll yeah. Do, we'll, we'll, but yeah. yeah. We'll go through those, we'll go through but, those. Yeah, you know. Um, so, with yeah, many options, or, or if you guys got any suggestions, um, like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, anyone's that are good, or anyone you want to talk to us with, just let yeah, us know. Yeah. It'd be um, fun. Yeah, and we'll have a discussion about it and see how it works. Yeah. But that's uh, in this extra long episode. Yes. Ending for today. Um, I, I am CY Chung. And I am Kyle Charles. And thanks for taking a trip around the multiverse with us. Superman's great. <laughs>